Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Sefkahir Baron calls Dylan's phone, makes a lot of threats to him and asks him to leave Dylan. The more Sefkahir speaks calmly, the more angry Baron becomes. When Baron says leave my wife and come to me, Sefkahir says we will meet, don't worry, don't involve the police, otherwise you will be the one who gets hurt. After hanging up the phone, Akif tells him, tell me what happened, it's my job and Baron says, go do your job then, and leaves angrily. While Sevahir Dylan lies unconscious in the back, Sevahir is delirious with pleasure. Yasmin says, I still can't believe you have the ring, when did you get it from there? While Harun was trying to pick up the garbage, it spilled and he accidentally saw it and picked it up. Harun laughs a lot and says Yasmin, I haven't been curling up for so many days, how bad are you? Mr. Kudret learns about Dylan's kidnapping in the mansion and goes crazy. While Azade Hanum falls ill, Baron returns to the mansion, hot as gunpowder. While Baron enters the study room and turns everything around, Mr. Kudret and Firet run away due to his screams and voices. To calm him down, he says, we have to be calm for Miran. Baron suddenly says, my son, and runs to Miran. Harun and Yasemin call Sevdet and Severi, inform them that they have made peace, and make an agreement to meet. When Baron comes to Miran and looks at him, he remembers his moments with Dylan. After remembering those moments, he takes Miran in his arms and promises you, don't worry, I will find your mother and bring her to you, my son, you will not grow up without a mother like me. Afterwards, she confides in him and cannot hold back her tears. As Dylan slowly begins to regain consciousness, while driving on the road, Sevahir becomes uneasy. Dylan pretends to be asleep again. When he gets to where he wants, when he moves to get Dylan out of the car, Dylan pushes Sevahir with her feet and makes him fall. Then he runs away to escape. But unfortunately, he catches Sevahir Dylan before long. While she wants to embrace him and take him away, Dylan makes the forest groan with her cries for help. When Akif comes to Baron, Baron tells him that he is still angry. When Akif says, I came to share information, we followed Dilson's phone signals, Baron says Sevahir lost her after talking to me. When Akif takes Dylan's phone out of his pocket and gives it to Baron, Baron remembers a memory they had with the phone and his eyes fill with tears. When Akif says that they are continuing to search and asks if there is any news from you, Baron glares and remains silent. When Akif says, then if I get any news, I will tell you, and wants to leave, Firet says, I will take you with me. When they go out together, Akif Baron cannot think clearly, and says that if you want to do him a favor, you have to cooperate with me. Otherwise, not only Dylan, but everyone will suffer harm, he says. Yasmin calls her mother and informs her of her decision to marry Harun. His mother cannot control her tears of happiness and becomes very emotional. Miran cannot keep quiet because of hunger and cries constantly. Ghoul brings Dylan's milk to the boil and says, Mrs. Azade is glad that she expressed her milk, my daughter Dylan. When Ghoul says, but this is the last milk, Ms. Azade thinks of Severi and Ghoul calls them and informs them about the situation. Sevdet and Severi are very saddened by this news and immediately want to go to Miran and give him her milk. Dylan cries, son, if you only knew how much I miss you, you must be hungry now. Then Sevahir shouts, let me go to my son. When Sevahir comes to him and asks why, Dylan says, you know, Baron will find me. When Sevahir says don't worry, I will call and arrange a meeting soon, Dylan asks why you are doing this and what is your problem. Sevahir says it's old accounts, but the accounts are being closed and pulls a chair and sits down. He says to Dylan, I like it when Baron suffers like this. Actually, Baron is a good enemy. The reason why we are in this situation is not me, but your husband. If you are looking for a culprit, go ahead and blame your own husband. She calls Baron, saying, we've waited so long, let's call your husband, I have some nice surprises for him. As soon as Baron picks up the phone, he says give the phone to Dylan immediately. When Sevahir says I'm offended, Baron shouts, give me the phone immediately. Sevahir says whatever it is, I'm giving it based on our old friendship. After Baron asks Dylan how he is and finds out, Dylan says he's fine, 
don't worry and tries to give some clues about the place he was taken to. When Sevahir interrupts their conversation and says, let's get to the point, we will swap your son and wife, Baron shouts, are you kidding me? Don't involve my son in this. Sevahir, I'm very serious, if you don't bring your son, your wife will die. But if you make an exchange, your wife will not die and your son will live even if he is far away from you. Dylan Baron shouts, don't do anything like this, let him kill me. Sevahir says now it's election time, Baron Karabai, don't tell the police, I will send you the place in time. Baron has a nervous breakdown, screaming and yelling that he will kill this man. He might be bluffing to calm down Mr. Kudret and fire at Baron. When he says, calm down, let's think about it, Mr. Firet says he is doing it to hurt you, we will hold him accountable together. Meanwhile, Baron realizes from the tips given by Dylan that he was in that village when he saw the village sign on his way to Aunt Berivan's. Baron is very happy when he figures out what Dylan is trying to say. They all leave the study together. While looking at Dillo's, Yasmin and Harun feel sorry for what happened to Dylan and pray that he will be saved as soon as possible. As Baron leaves the mansion with Miran's stroller in his hand, Sevdet and Sevri arrive. When Dylan says what do you want, I'm here, just kill me, Sevahir shows Dylan his father's burnt hand and says, look, this happened because of Baron. Dylan says everyone will be punished for what they did, not because of Baron. Sevahir says, I killed my father, now it's Baron Karabai's turn, I could kill him too if I wanted, but there are things he values more than his life, like his family. Ghoul tries to calm Miran down, but nothing helps. Sevri comes to Miran with Azade Hanim and starts breastfeeding him immediately. Baron makes a plan and takes steps to implement it. Then he gets in his car alone and leaves the mansion. Hassan watches them from a distance and immediately calls Sevahir. When she tells Sevahir that Hassan Baron is dating the baby, he doesn't think it's possible for me to believe anyone other than what I see. While Hassan says to Sevahir, don't call me, I will call you at the appropriate time. My brother is keeping an eye on me, Mr. Kudret notices and corners him. Sevahir points his gun at Dylan and pretends to shoot, and at that moment Dylan thinks to himself, Baron, I hope you understand what I said, please don't bring me on. Mr. Kudret becomes very suspicious of Hassan and takes him to his study. When Firet asks why send him here, Mr. Kudret says, I have a strong feeling on the contrary, we should not let him out of our sight. When Sevri breastfeeds Miran, he calms down and sleeps. Baron warns Miran not to even leave the room and leaves, so he tells Sevri, don't worry, I will stay with her. While Baron is on the road saying, I'm almost there, Dylan, I'll save you, don't worry, I'm almost there, he remembers the moments when he and Dylan said they loved each other very much. Mr. Kudret sits Hassan in front of him and watches him intently. When Hassan asks what do you want, he prevents him from leaving by saying, we have work to do, sit down. Let's see Sevahir Dylan. Will Mr. Baron choose you or Miran? I can't wait as time passes. When Baron comes to the village that Dylan mentioned, he sees Sevahir's car in front of a vein. While watching from afar, he sees Sevkahir trying to talk on the phone. When Sevahir calls Hassan and wants to get news, he realizes that the phone is off and gets angry. Once inside, Baron approaches quietly. Sevahir comes to Dylan and opens the ropes on his hands and feet, saying that the time has come. Don't be stupid, he puts the gun to your back and tells you to walk. When they got out, Baron got into the bottom of the car. When Sevahir notices, he grabs Dylan's throat and puts a gun to his head. Baron says leave Dylan alone, let's solve your problem man to man. When Sevahir says to Dylan, did you see, Dylan chose his son and gave up on you? Dylan says he did the right thing. Baron reminds Dylan of the move he taught him to escape. When Dylan hits Sevahir's abdominal cavity and throws him off balance, Baron attacks him, knocks the gun out of his hand and beats Sevahir well. Just as Baron is about to grab his throat and kill him, Dylan prevents him. Then he throws Sevahir aside and they hug each other and say that they are very scared. When Sevahir recovers and picks up the gun to shoot Baron, Baron turns around and shoots him in the arm. Meanwhile, Akif comes and takes Sevahir and tells Baron that you did wrong, what you did was not right. 
As the paramedics take him away, Sevahir shouts that this game is not over. Dylan says don't hear him, let's go home. Baron says our son missed you a lot, actually everyone missed you a lot. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.